History is something that can define us. It is something that we can learn from and improve upon. History exists in many forms, even in fictional form. Continuing on where we left off, I am here to compare Mass Effect history to our actual history. Last week, we went over the history of Mass Effect up to the creation of the Council, and compared our history timeline to that. We are going to start right where we left off with the creation of the Council. Now all the information I'm about to present to you happens within the timeline of 500 BC and 1 BC, but no specific dates are known. So the Citadel is formed. The Asari and Salarians come together to colonize the Citadel and establish it as a center of the galactic community, which will be led by the Council. This year is also known as GS, which stands for Galactic Standard Time. This is similar to BC being known as Before Christ in our historic timeline. As a gesture of openness with their new Asari allies, the Salarian Union opens the records of the League of One. Under the threat of the opening, the League responds by assassinating every member of the Union in her cabinet. Special task group operatives then hunt down and eliminate the League, which we might have a future video dedicated to them. After that, the first contact is made with the Volus. Eventually, the Citadel Council commissions the Volus to create the Unified Banking Act, which establishes a galactic currency which we all know as the Credit, and this links all galactic economies. The Turian Unification War occurs, and the increasingly isolated and xenophobic colonies on the frontiers of Turian space go to war with each other. After fighting for years, the Turian hierarchy comes in and pacifies the remaining factions. Animosity between the Turian colonies continues for decades after this event, and the Council grants the Volus the honor of being the first non-Council species with an embassy at the Citadel rather than having a Council seat and the first contact is made with the Batarians. A century later, they are granted an embassy on the Citadel. The Asari discover the Elcor home system and help the Elcor locate and activate their nearest mass relay. Within one Elcor lifetime, they establish a regular trade route to the Citadel and are granted an embassy. And finally, the first contact is made with the Hanar and the Koreans. Both races are later granted embassies. Now some key events that happened in our history during that lifetime is, Euclid finishes his book Elements, which is a mathematical and geometric treatise consisting of 13 books attributed to the ancient Greek mathematician. Greek city-states defeat the Persian invasion at the Battle of Marathon. Buddha passes away. Persian invasion of Greece by Xerxes, Battle of Thermopylae, and Salamis. Confucius passes away. The birth of Socrates. The Greco-Persian War ends. Building of the Pantheon at Athens started and is completed later on at 432 BC. The birth of Plato. Socrates passes away. The birth of Aristotle. Alexander the Great defeats Darius III of Persia in the Battle of Guatemala, completing his conquest of Persia. And then later on, Alexander the Great dies at Babylon. Qin Shi Huang unifies China, and this ends the Warring States period. This marks the beginning of the imperial rule of China, which lasts until 1912, and the construction of the Great Wall of China by the Qin Dynasty begins. The Han Dynasty is established in China after the death of Qin Shi Huang. At this time, China officially becomes a Confucian state and opens trade connections with the West. Scipio defeats Hannibal at the Battle of Zama. Paper is invented in China. The Third Punic War between Rome and Carthage happens. The war ends with the complete destruction of Carthage, and this allows Rome to conquer modern-day Tunisia and Libya. Roman conquest of Greece. The city of Florence is founded. The Roman Civil War between Julius Caesar and Pompey the Great. Julius Caesar is murdered by Marcus Brute and others. The end of the Roman Republic happens with the death of Caesar, and begins the Roman Empire. Rome conquers Egypt. Formation of Roman Empire. Octavius is given titles of Princeps and Augustus by Roman Senate. Beginning of Pax Romana, formation of influential Praetorian guards to provide security to the Emperor. This is the earliest theorized date for the birth of Jesus of Nazareth. And this is the widely accepted date for the birth of Jesus Christ. Now there are a lot of wars that were going on over on Earth, but looking at the Mass Effect history has a lot of those wars as well around this time. The Rachni, a species of highly intelligent hive-minded insects, are discovered when a Citadel expedition opens a dormant mass relay leading to their star systems. The Rachni prove to be hostile and begin a war with the rest of the galaxy, 
Negotiation with the Rachni Queen is impossible because they cannot be contacted in their underground nests in the toxic Rachni worlds. Death of Emperor Augustus, ascension of his adopted son Tiberius to the throne. The crucifixion of Jesus Christ happens around this time as the exact date is unknown. Rome enters Britain for the first time. This is the destruction of Jerusalem by the armies of Titus, and the destruction of Pompeii by a volcano. The Rachni Wars continue. The Salarians make first contact with and uplift the primitive Krogan, manipulating them into acting as soldiers for the Citadel Council. The Krogan prove able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni world and pursue the Rachni into their nests, systematically eradicating queens and eggs. Diocletian begins a large-scale persecution of Christians. The Rachni are declared extinct. In gratitude for their aid during the Rachni Wars, the Council rewards the Krogan with a new homeworld. Free of the harsh environments of Tachanka, the Krogan population explodes. The Krogan begin to expand exponentially, colonizing many new worlds. Growing concerns about their expansion lead to the founding of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance branch of the Citadel. Constantinople is officially named and becomes the capital of the Eastern Roman Empire. Romans are expelled from Britain. Romulus Augustus, which is the last Western Roman Empire, is forced to abdicate by Odysseus, a chieftain of the Germanic Hyruli. Odysseus returns the Imperial Regala to the Eastern Roman Emperor Zeno in Constantinople, in return for the title of Dukes of Italy. This is the most frequently cited date for the end of ancient history. Rome is sacked by Genseric, King of the Vandals. This is held by some historians to mark the end of the Roman Empire. Nika riots in Constantinople. Nearly half of the city is being burned or destroyed, and tens of thousands of people are killed. Muhammad is born. Gregory the Great becomes Pope. Muhammad passes away. Establishment of the Bulgarian Empire. Bilo Gurgi, a Salarian operative, is appointed the first specter by the Citadel Council. Krogan warlords leverage veterans of the Rachni War to annex territory from other races in Citadel space. Eventually, the Council demands withdrawal from the Asari colony of Lucia, but the Krogan refuse. A preemptive strike is made on Krogan infrastructures by the Spectres. The Krogan rebellions begin. The Citadel Council makes first contact with the Turians around this time and persuades them to aid them in the war. After the Krogan respond to the initial Turian offensive by devastating Turian colonies with weapons of mass destruction, the Turians vow to stop the Krogan from ever becoming a threat again. Sometime after the Turians join the galactic community, the Volus are accepted as a client race of the Turian hierarchy. Realizing that the Krogan will never give in as long as they can replenish their fighters, the Turians unleash a Solarian engineered bioweapon known as the Genophage on the Krogan. The Krogan population starts to decline. The Krogan rebellions end. Through scattered Krogan insurgent actions continue for decades, the Turians fill in the military and peacekeeping niche left by the decimated Krogan. The Citadel Conventions are drawn up in the wake of the conflict. In our history, during this timeline, gunpowder is invented. Alfred the Great assumes the throne, which is the first king of a united England. Iceland is settled by Norsemen, Vikings attack Paris, and Alfred the Great passes away. At this point, a decent amount of history happens between 900 to 2016, but it isn't compacted like the other historic moments. Because of that, I'm just going to mention key historic moments because I don't want this video to be a few hours long. So starting off, the Turians are granted a seat on the Citadel Council in recognition for their service in the Krogan Rebellions. While that happened, the Mayan Empire collapses. Chaucer begins to write the Canterbury Tales. The Bible is translated into English by John Wycliffe. Extensive and unchecked industrial expansion on the Drell homeworld Rakana begins to take a significant toll on the planet's environment. The trial and execution of Joan of Arc and the Medici family rises to prominence in Florence. The colony at Roanoke is founded in North America. The Anglo-Spanish War is fought on both sides of the Atlantic. And within that time period, the Spanish Armada sinks, which we have a very fun fact about that at the end of the video. The Siege of Udawara, the Gohoju clan surrendered to Toyotomi Hideyoshi, and Japan was unified. The first sightings of the Collectors are reported in the Terminus systems. 
in Citadel space, the claims are dismissed as unsubstantiated rumors and tall tales. King Henry IV of France is assassinated. The Battle of Osaka, which was the last major threat to Tokugawa shogunate, ends. Frederick the Great comes to power in Prussia. Famine in Ireland kills 10% of the population. Samara's three daughters are diagnosed as Ardod Yakshi. Rila and Felir accept exile, but Morinth flees. Samara takes the oath of the Asari Justicars and pursues her errant daughter for the next 430 years. In our history, the Lisbon earthquake happens that caused the death of thousands of people in Portugal. George III becomes King of Britain. The Stamp Act is introduced into the American colonies by the British Parliament. The American Revolutionary War happens in this time period, with a very key moment in 1776, where the United States Declaration of Independence is adopted by the Continental Congress in Philadelphia. This is the time of the American Civil War, which is between the Union and the seceding Confederacy. United States President Abraham Lincoln is assassinated by actor and Confederate sympathizer John Wilkes Booth while attending a performance at Ford's Theater, Washington, D.C. Lewis Carroll publishes Alice's Adventure in Wonderland. The samurai class is abolished in Japan. Also, blue jeans and barbed wire are invented. 13 million Chinese die of famine in North China. The first commercial telephone exchange in New Haven, Connecticut. Arya Talok arrives on Omega, a space station in the Terminus system, regarded as the region's nominal capital. Arya is hired by the station's warlord as an enforcer and quickly becomes one of his most trusted lieutenants. Both Tsar Alexander II and President James Garfield are assassinated in this year. The construction of the Statue of Liberty and Coca-Cola is developed, and Vincent van Gogh paints Starry Night. In this year is the independence of Luxembourg, the death of Vincent van Gogh, and the cardboard box is invented. The Geth, which are machines created by the Koreans as a source of cheap labor, become self-aware. Fearing a Geth uprising, the Koreans begin dismantling them. The Geth revolt against their Korean masters. In the resulting conflict known to the Geth as the Morning War, the Geth systematically drive the Koreans from their home world. The surviving Koreans are reduced to living as spacefaring nomads aboard the migrant fleet. Contrary to expectations, the Geth do not venture outside the former Korean systems into wilder citadel space. Instead, they isolate themselves from the rest of the galaxy behind the Perseus Veil. As punishment for creating the Geth, the Citadel Council closes the Korean embassy on the Citadel. The Olympic Games revived in Athens. The United States gains control of Cuba, Puerto Rico, and the Philippines after the Spanish-American War, and H.G. Wells publishes the book War of the Worlds. A famine in India kills over one million people. Adolf Hitler becomes Fuhrer of the Nazi Party as hyperinflation in Germany begins. Russia invades Georgia and incorporates it into the Soviet Union. The Geth begin construction of a megastructure designed to house and simultaneously run every Geth program in existence. Completion of the megastructure, which would allow the Geth to maximize their collective processing capacity, is the long-term goal of a Geth civilization. Wall Street crashes and beginning of the Great Depression. The birth control pill becomes commercially available. The construction of the Berlin Wall and the first human spaceflight. In this year was the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr and Robert F. Kennedy during the Poor People's Campaign. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin land on the moon. Woodstock happens and the Manson family murders take place. Invention of artificial insulin, the Jonestown mass suicides happen, and the war in Afghanistan starts. Smallpox is eradicated. Arya Talok assumes control of Omega after defeating the space station's previous warlord in single combat. She mockingly bestows the title Patriarch on the Broken Krogan, and uses him as a reminder to her enemies of her power. Don't fuck with Arya. Both the Challenger and Chernobyl disasters take place during this time. Tony Blair becomes Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, and Princess Diana is killed in a car accident. The Euro is introduced, the Columbine School Massacre takes place, and the world's population reaches 6 billion. The Drell make first contact with the Hanar around this time. With their homeworld Rakana severely depleted and no spaceflight capability, 
the Drell were poised for a massive population crash by 2025 AD. Agreeing to help, the Hanara mount a large-scale rescue operation and evacuate approximately 375,000 Drell to their own homeworld, Kaji. Over the following decade, the remaining 11 billion Drell on Rakana gradually perish. Wars over the last reserves of food and water happen. The 9-11 attacks happen, with terrorists destroying the World Trade Center in New York City and damage the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. Also, Wikipedia is founded. The Iraq War begins, and Space Shuttle Columbia is destroyed on re-entry. Now, at these three time periods, the Mass Effect trilogy comes out, and the next entry in the best video game series comes out. Well, that is as far as we can go into comparing our history to Mass Effect history. A fun fact that I learned while researching about this topic is that a cut part of the Shadow Broker DLC tells us that Samara is responsible for the Spanish Armada sinking in 1588. In the dossier for Samara, a part was going to read, I'm afraid that we are unable to make any concrete assessment given the limited data at hand. It remains entirely possible that the Justicar ship made contact with Earth while looking for Prothean artifacts. Per your question, the storm that scattered the Spanish Armada was considered extremely powerful for that area. Given our climate data, and could conceivably have been generated using fields from the Sanchez Drive Corps, it is clear that had the storm not scattered the Spanish Armada, the Spanish forces would have regrouped and likely seized power in England within two years. It remains entirely possible that the Justicar had some effect on Earth's political course, but unfortunately, I doubt we will ever have any proof. So that is it for this video. What historic part interested you the most? Are you enjoying the lore videos that we are putting out? Let us know in the comments down below, and while you are there, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.